damage repair that fights frizz from within. Oh yes, the K18 molecular hair oil is here. Keep on watching to find out all about it. Hello and welcome to the world of Craig Gifts. That's me, I'm Craig, and this is my channel where we get into all things hair and sometimes a little bit of beauty. Now, as you have already seen, the lovely peeps of the K18 fam have sent me the new molecular repair oil. I've been using it in salon on clients and I'm going to share with you exactly what it is, how it does what it does, and exactly what it can do for you. And at the end of this video, or after we've got into the molecular repair oil, I'm going to answer some very popular Q&As and things I get comments on all the time or DMs on Instagram. So stay tuned for that further on in the video. But without further ado, let's get into this brand new formulation. Now you see it, now you don't. Now you see it, now you don't. Little did I know I had a roll neck, a turtle neck in my wardrobe that was the same colour as the K18 livery. Hilarious. So obviously I had to wait for this video. I'm just going to pop the PR box over there. So K18's brand new launch. If you are watching this, I am posting this at the time this is launched in the UK because that's where I am, which is the beginning of May, but this has already been out in the States for a while. Now, this is an oil that does two different things, but first of all, let's have a quick, a quick butcher's, a quick look, butcher's hook, that's Cockney Rhyme slang, at the packaging. It's the K18 white with the acid green. Now you see it, now you don't. All right, Craig. With the acid green that you would expect from the brand, um, I love all of the packaging, all of the components. I think they're really, really smart. Let's open up the box, okay? Pop her over there. Boxes are she's, aren't they? And then we have this really natty packaging. Now this is recyclable, obviously you would expect that from K18. They have fantastic sustainable sustainability credentials. This is recyclable and it's like a soft touch kind of plastic, which is quite cool. And then at the top we have like a pipette, which you would kind of, you know, expect from oils. And it has like a little glass pipette there. I'm trying not to get it on me or on the floor, which expels the product. And then you pop it back in, push that down, and it fills it up again. Okay, that's a, a look around the packaging. Now, oh, and of course, goes without saying that if, if you find this helpful, what I'm about to get into, or if you would like to see what's more, what, what's more, what more is coming on my channel, then you can do all of that. And then that will make sure that you see all of the videos that are coming. You must hit that bell to turn your notifications of the way you otherwise you won't see what's coming. And I apologize if I sound a little bit heady, but I've had some kind of weird throat sinus thing, um, which is on its way out, but I still sound a little bit odd. So apologies. So frizz control that actually repairs the hair like the entire K18 line. So how exactly does it do that? Well, first of all, of course, it has the K18 peptide. And we know what that does. If, you, if you're if brand new to K18, you've never heard of it before, or if you're a bit unsure about what it does, I have an overview video and some Q&A videos on K18. I'm brand ambassador for them. I have been now for, well, blimey, coming, it'll be two years in July, I think it is, so for a while, absolutely love the line, I will pop the overview video and the Q&As down below. So this has the K18 peptide, as do all of the other products in the line. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it's also frizz control. Very cool formulation, this. Very simple, clean formulation. So it has squalene in it, which is a really beautiful hydrating oil. Okay, and something that's very popular in skincare. Again, the formulation of this is it on a line with skincare. So it has squalene oil in it. It has sunflower oil. More of her in a second. Sunflower oil, remember that one. That's an important one in this particular formulation. And then it also has argan oil, which is a really beautifully fine, um, a really fine, easily dispersed oil that we know kind of from history in hair that it's really good for the hair. I'm gonna pop a tiny little bit of this on my hand just to show you the texture in real time. Just one little drop. and I'm gonna pop the bottle down there. But I will also pop an insert in here of the actual texture because it's really hard to show you, but this is colorless, so it has no color in it. And I don't know if you can see that on the back of my hand, I'm sure you can on the video that I've inserted, that it, it's so light. 
it has like a, a fine, light, dry oil texture, which if I'm honest is the reason that I really like it. I, I tend to back away from any oils, um, especially anything that would have a silicone in an oil. I'm not against silicones. This is silicone free, as are all the other K18 products. The line contains no silicon, so if that's something you really want to avoid, then K18 is definitely for you. But this is silicone free, but I, I've, n I've never been a fan of like serums that are very heavy and gloopy. That oil is completely gone from the back of my hand. There's not even any shine there. So that's why I really love this and I've been using it in summer, as I've mentioned, because you can use a tiny amount for finer hair and you can use slightly more for thicker hair and then for very textured thick hair you can use more. I would start off with like two to three drops of this on finer textured hair and then see if you need to use more, but it never overloads the hair if you use the appropriate amount. Such a beautiful texture, has a very, very light, fresh, here he goes, loves the scent, fresh smell, so it's not overpowering at all. It is definitely a fresh scent as with all the other K18 lines. Now, how do you use this, okay? It can be used in two ways. I'm sure we can think of many other ways to use it. Do you know what? Before we get into, <laughs> before we get into how exactly you can use it, let's move to the next clip. Yes, that clip was about five minutes with no jump cuts. I don't use jump cuts in my edits because I don't really enjoy watching jump cuts. So sometimes the clips are quite long, but I'm back. So how exactly do you use the K18 Molecular Repair Oil? Well, it is super simple, okay? If you're thinking of it in the sort of ways of a routine, you would shampoo your hair, hold on, I'll be back, preferably with one of these, okay? It doesn't need to be a K18 shampoo, but there obviously are the two peptide prep shampoos. There's the detox and there's the pH maintenance. These put your hair in an optimum state for the K18 peptide, for that molecule to go into the hair, into the cortex and to do its repair. But you don't, I do get, we're gonna get into some questions later on, but I do get a lot of questions like, do I have to use these shampoos with a K18 leave-in mask? No, you don't, but these do put your hair in the optimum state for repair with the product. These are the only two shampoos I use in the backwash at the salon. Literally 98% of the time, these are what my client's hair gets shampooed with, okay? They're fantastic products. I do have a video that's all about these. Guess what? I'll link it down below. So you'd shampoo your hair, you would not condition, so important to remember that, you would not condition, and then you would use the K18 Molecular Leave-In Mask. This is the professional size if you're a consumer. Hello, it comes in a 50 mil size, but this is 150 mil, okay? So you would apply your mask and then you, to towel dried hair and then you would wait four minutes. Yes, just four minutes. And then, really simply, you would apply your molecular repair oil. I've got all the products in my lap. Your molecular repair oil. Something to remember here, that the leave-in mask must go on shampooed, non-conditioned, towel dried hair, okay, damp hair. Please don't mix the oil, because I know this will be a question, I know this is something that will come up, please don't mix the oil cocktail, if you like, in with the leave-in mask. This must go on your hair first, and then you would apply the appropriate amount of the oil. As you've already seen, it's super light texture, it's mega lightweight, I, I mean, still on the back of my hand, but there's no shine there at all. I would start off with two or three drops of this, on finer textured hair, on the mid lengths and the ends. And then as I would advise with any product, once you've applied it to the mid lengths and ends, just gently comb it or wet brush it, whatever sort of brush you like to use, gently, gently work it through. And then any other styling products can go over the top of this. Really simple. He talks fast and there's so much to remember. I forgot to add to the usage that you can obviously use this on dry hair. Okay, if you want the repair aspect of the K18 peptide, then the damp, the hair needs to be damp for it to actually get into the cortex of the hair, but you can use this in between. I've been using it as a finisher, and I don't like, I don't generally like oils or serums, as I've already mentioned, but I really don't like them as finishers. Certainly, um, up until I was trying it, been testing this out, 
all of the content you see on my Instagram or on here, None of the final results have any kind of oils or serums. They generally just have a tiny little bit of a very fine hairspray, but I have used this as a finisher and the, the texture is so light, if you only use a tiny bit, obviously if you're tipping loads on, then it's gonna look greasy, but a couple of drops of this is a beautiful smoothing finishing treatment on dry hair. So what exactly are the benefits of this brand new K18 Molecular Repair Oil? Get the words out, Craig. First of all, I did make a boo-boo. I've just watched the other clip back. There's no argan oil in this. No, it's avocado oil, duh. So what exactly do the oils in this do? Well, avocado oil, sunflower oil, they obviously give the hair lots of shine. But the other interesting thing about sunflower oil is it's a natural heat protectant. And this is a heat protector. There's no heat protection in the K18 leave-in mask, but there is in the oil. So that's why it's such a great thing to layer up on top of the mask once it's had the four minutes. If you think about sunflowers, they basically they get their name from the sun because a sunflower will follow the sun around. Sunflowers actually move as the sun is out. How amazing is nature? And I know from the R&D that I have done with some other brands in the past that it's the power of that sun that sunflowers have that in their seeds that when the oil is um, extracted and used as a heat protectant, it really is fantastic. Now this will protect the hair up to 450, 230 degrees, which is amazing. And that's as hot as you would ever want to get on your hair. If I'm gonna be totally honest, I'd be worried if you were trying to get your hair over that temperature. So that's a really great addition. And obviously there's the avocado oil in there, which again makes the hair really shiny, the surface of the hair. Then there's that squalene. Squalene is also makes the hair shiny, but it's very moisturizing. So it traps in moisture to the hair, which we all want that to, for our hair as well. We all want moisturized hair, don't we? Hair is, does contain a lot of moisture. That's a good thing. And then of course there is the K18 peptide, which I've already mentioned and is in all the other overview videos that I have on here in the Q and A's in that the K18 peptide repairs the hair at the cortex. Now, there's also been some clinical trials by K18 that this does help to repair split ends, which is great. But, and I'm sure, I'm guessing, I, I haven't read any data and, I, and K18 haven't said this, but the fact that there's sunflower oil in here and that is a natural heat protector. Sunflower oil, from my knowledge and from my past experience, is also good at stopping hair color from fading because it has a natural kind of UVA, UVB filter. So I'm not claiming that this does that, but the fact that there's sunflower in oil in there and that all of those oils are natural and present in nature can only be a good thing. Yes, I have my teenager's iPad. It's time for those K18 questions. And then at the end of this, I'm gonna quickly run through the entire K18 routine, all right? So first question, can I use the mist on dry hair? This is the K18 Molecular Mist, brand new packaging. Hello, matchy matchy. Oh, we ran the wrong way, there we go. Hello, matchy matchy. Now, this is, a really big point and I'm really grateful that this person, whoever it was, I can't remember, asked me the question on my Instagram. Can you use the mist on dry hair? No. If the mist is going to be used pre-treatment, like as a pre-chemical service treatment, and this is a pro-use product, okay, really, I, I know that some consumers are buying it. I, I wouldn't buy K18 from anywhere that's not a legit seller because it, I'm sure there are fake products around because the brand is so good. So this is a pro product only, but the hair needs to be damp in order for the K18 molecule, for that peptide to get into the cortex and to do its repair. And it's worth mentioning here that any bond building products, okay, anything that mends the hair on, there's nothing that works like K18 does, but any other bond builders also have to be used on damp hair. It's impossible, <laughs> well, it, technically, chemically, without getting really super neat, nerdy and geeky, the hair needs to be damp for any repair at, of those sorts to be done. So the quick answer is no, you can't use the K18 pre-treatment, pre-chemical service mist 
on dry hair because it won't do what it's supposed to do. You need to damp mist the hair very, very lightly, mist the hair very, very lightly with some water first or use the chelator, which is sitting over on the table there, first as, as the first step, which we'll get into in a second, and then go in with the mist. Next question, but surely the detox shampoo isn't colour safe? Well, it is. Both shampoos are 100% colour safe. And I'll let you into a little secret that you will see in a lot of my tutorials on here. Yes, I have full step-by-step -step tutorials on here, like this, and like this, and like this, he says, pointing. The detox shampoo, I use this to take my colours off with. How amazing is that? A client comes into the salon for a root retouch, and you, I don't shampoo the hair first off, I will apply the tint at the root, and then when I shampoo that off, before I apply a gloss to the mid lengths and ends to refresh, which is often what I do, then I will shampoo off with the detox shampoo because I want to apply some leave-in mask that's over on my kitchen countertop, and this will put the hair in the right state. It's the only detox clarifying shampoo I have ever used that doesn't make the hair feel very raw and tangled and like, blah, and like all stuck together to the point that I even shampoo off global bleach outs with this. Every single global lightening that I do, global bleach out, will be shampooed at least once with this throughout the process because I want the hair to be in the optimum state to receive that peptide from the leave-in mask. And I also find that I get much better toning when I have used the detox shampoo. I, I just absolutely love this product. And this is something that I shampoo my own hair in because I do have seven hairs and a slightly greasy scalp. So it's also great for, for regulating sebum control on the scalp, sebum production on the scalp. But yeah, it's totally, totally colour safe, as is the pH maintenance. So I have a lap full of products. Let's run through very quickly, very swiftly, the entire K18 line and how to, very quickly, how to use them in what order. And maybe you're a pro watching this. Hello again. And you would like to know very specifically the order to use things in, or maybe you're a consumer and your hairstylist is just the person that looks after your hair, is just getting into the line. So, a bit of clarification. First up, it's the chelator. This would be applied to dry hair. This is a pro-use only product, I'm nearly dropping everything. Pro-use only product applied to dry hair, and it would be left for four minutes before you then, and this obviously removes up to seven types of minerals and metals from the hair. It gets hair ready for chemical service, and and it also means that you get optimum absorption of the K18 peptide in the form of the mist. So on the hair first, four minutes on the hair till it feels damp with the chelator, wait four minutes and then you go in with the mist, puts the chelator on the floor, then you go in with the mist, which you would again spray liberally, and then you wait another four minutes, okay, and then you would go in with your chemical service, okay, because that's pre-chemical service. You can, if you want to, if the hair feels slightly damp, you can dry the hair off, does a mimer for blow dryer, and then you would go in with your chemical service, or you could offer this as an in-salon treatment. So I would do the chelator first, then I would do the mist, wait the four minutes, and then I would shampoo with one of these two, okay? But if you've done a chemical service and you've rinsed that off, I would shampoo off that chemical service with one of these two, either of these two, because we know that they're both color safe and that's what I would do at the backwash. So that's what I'm telling you to do. And then once you've shampooed with one of these two products, you would towel dry and you would add the leave-in mask, okay? The quantities of, depends on the hair texture, it's something you would have to find out yourself. He's talking very fast. If you've got very, very thick textured hair, you might use up to four pumps maybe, but applied one pump at a time. I wouldn't advise you to scoosh it all out and then just pop it all in. I would do one pump at a time. If you've got very fine hair, you might just use half a pump. Or if you've got seven hairs like me, you might use a quarter of a pump, okay? So, so a 50 mil or 150 mil is gonna last you a really long time. You would apply that to the hair, comb through or wet brush through very, very gently, because when hair is wet, it's very fragile. Wait the four minutes and then apply the brand new molecular repair oil. Simple, and then you would apply any other styling products that you would like to apply over the top of those. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt.
And finally, very swiftly to add to that, because I don't want to forget anything, creatine are advocating, 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 yes, that's the one, advocating, that you can use the molecular pretreatment mist as a, an extra step if you want to. So you would, on towel dried hair, you would apply a little bit of the couple of sprays of the mist, comb that through, wait four minutes, and then go in with a molecular mask however much you, you would need to, to use for the individual type of hair. I want to stress that because I do often get questions of how much exactly do I use? I don't know, I can't see you. <laughs> People comment on here and I was like, I have no idea because I can't see your hair. So you have to gauge that, but no, there's no hard and fast rules is what I'm trying to say. So you could do that and then blow dry if you want to. I don't use these two together like that, but you can if you want to, that is not wrong, okay? I always use this as a pre chemical service treatment, but that's just the way that I used to like it. And then I used to like it, I like to use it. And then I use this in between the steps of my chemical processes, which you can see in all my tutorials on here. And that's it for my intro to the new K18 molecular repair oil. My goodness, why do I always think that a video is going to be really quick and I think this will probably be around the 20 minute mark, perhaps even a little bit longer when I come to edit it. If you've got to this point, then thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And I appreciate your support here on YouTube. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. And I really enjoy my channel and I love making content. So thank you so much. If you found this helpful or you already tried this, if you're in the States, and or if you're in the UK, and you've just got hold of it when it's just become um, available over here, and you wanna let me know what you think of it, I'd love to know in the comments down below. And always, as always, if you have any questions at all, pop them in the comments and I will always get back to you. Again, it always amazes me that people are shocked when I reply to their comments. That's what we're here for, aren't we? It's a, he says very high pitched, it's a two way thing. I have an Instagram which is packed with loads of more hair day to day. And as I've already said, there are tons and tons over 230 videos here on my YouTube channel, which I am so proud of. And once again, thank you all for your support. You all take lots and lots of care and I'll see you in the next one.